Hey, can you create? Today we're here in the College and Career Center to inform our seniors of the new graduation requirement. This information is vital to your graduation. You will not graduate if you do not fill one of these three forms. Now we will let Ms. Hernandez explain what exactly these forms are about. Hello, Kenny Creek. This is Mrs. Hernandez, the College and Career Counselor. So what is the new graduation requirement? As part of House Bill 3, the Texas Education Agency implemented a new graduation requirement regarding financial aid applications. Beginning with students enrolled in 12th grade during the 2021-22 school year, each class of 2022 graduate must complete one of the following in order to graduate either complete and submit a free application for student financial aid, the FAFSA, or complete and submit a Texas application for state financial aid, the TASFA, or submit a signed opt-out form. What is the purpose of the new graduation requirement? The number of Texas high school students who currently complete the free application for federal student aid or the FAFSA is about 55%, just under the national average. The new Texas law aims to boost that number by requiring graduating seniors to fill out the FAFSA or the TASFA. The FAFSA is the only way to get the U.S. government's help paying for college. Students who opt out are leaving a lot of money on the table, specifically from federal Pell Grants that students don't have to pay back. The maximum federal Pell Grant was $6,495 last year, with colleges offering up to $8,500 additionally per year in Texas grant funds for students who apply early. High school students across the country currently miss out on billions of dollars in free money for college because of not applying for financial aid. So how do I meet the new graduation requirement? Students who are U.S. citizens or permanent residents may complete the 2022-23 FAFSA online at fafsa.gov beginning on October 1st, 2021. Most students will need a parent to help them complete the FAFSA as this requires a parent's 2020 tax information as well as a signature by both the student and parent. Students who are not U.S. citizens or permanent residents may apply for state financial aid by completing the TASFA beginning on October 1, 2021. This application is a fillable PDF form available online at collegeforalltexans.com. Students will also need a parent to help provide information on the TASFA as well as a parent's signature. Students who choose to complete the opt-out form will be able to access this form and sign electronically via Conroe ISD's Parent Access Center. Seniors will be meeting with their school counselors in the library computer labs in early October to learn more about the financial aid graduation requirement, to get help with starting the FAFSA or the TASFA, and to get information and resources to bring home to their parents. A section of the CCHS College and Career website will be devoted to financial aid information and resources. We will have two virtual financial aid information sessions led by college financial aid experts, one on Monday, September 27th at 6 o'clock p.m. and one on October 26th at 6 o'clock p.m. Please check your email and in Naviance for the links and more information about these information sessions. Thank you for listening, CCHS, and let's get that free money for college and technical school, and remember, no trick or treat until you complete.